Welcome to One Insight. My name is Rich Litvin. I grew up in London and I now live in LA. And this is a podcast for extraordinary top performers. You see, I've coached some of the most successful and talented people on the planet. I see what most people cannot see, and I dare to say what most people wouldn't dare to say. And what I know about success is that on the other side of it, it can actually be lonely. You can feel like more of an imposter the more successful you become. And when you're the most interesting person in the room, you're actually in the wrong room. I coach around insight. Life looks one way, something happens, the world looks different, and your entire world changes. It can happen in an instant. And this podcast is called One Insight because a single insight can change everything. There are two new ways that my clients work with me. One is as a thinking partner, and the other is as a concierge advisory role. Now, if you're a thinking partner with me, we have around about two coaching calls a month, about 30 minutes of time. It runs for five months, that program, and it's a $50,000 investment. Those clients who work with me as a concierge trusted advisor is $185,000, and we work together for a year. And we don't really schedule calls. I'm there when you need me. And the interesting thing about both of those types of clients is they need me a lot less than you'd imagine. Often in those 30-minute calls, we're finished in 10 minutes or 20 minutes. In the concierge advisory role, often they'll send me a text and that's it. I'll reply with the text message back, a video back. Your clients are not paying you for your time. In a moment, you're going to hear me working with Sophie's son. Sophie is an extraordinary consultant, um, highly successful. She's a member of my community. She asks one question. And in three minutes, we get to an insight that changes everything. And we're done. I think it's our fastest episode yet. Enjoy. Well, hi, Sophie. We we were just chatting for a moment before we started the recording of this. And you said something fun because I said, We can go anywhere you like today. You can ask me a question. You can uh, ask for coaching. Will you say out loud what you said to me just now? Because it's kind of perfect to describe what happens with with powerful coaching. Uh, Yes, I uh, because I'm. uh, I know we're going to do this podcast today, so I was thinking about what I'm going to ask you, and then I started to reflect on the question, and I started to write, uh, kind of making make make clear create some clarity for myself. So I write my thoughts down and at the end, I find the answer for myself. Uh, that's perfect. There's a tool I love to share with my clients. I call it WWRD. What would Rich do? And it doesn't mm-hmm. matter whether they get it right or not, whether they guess what I would actually guess. But what happens is we get out of our persona and into another persona and we see things differently from that place. That's so true. Here, where would you like to go today? What would make today really special? Um, I found the answer, and then uh, based on the answer, I have another question for you. Go for it. You're going to hear me muting a little bit today. I've got a cough, and so go okay. for it. What's, what's, what's your question? Um, I was re- the question I was reflecting is uh, what I'm actually doing right now. You know, I've helped companies to create happiness at work and uh, to help to help them to create more engaged and happy employees. And then uh, later, I helped them to coach um, actually developments of high potentials. And I coached them. And uh, because I keep working on myself, I kind of attracted some entrepreneurs and also leaders to come to me. And uh, when they come to me, they kind of get stuck in their business and they don't know what's the next step. And I help them to take the next step. Actually, they, all, they know, but they don't dare to take the step. And I help them to take the step and then they get the results. And the bonus is like um, they get more confidence, more courage, more clarity, and also freedom. And I cannot link what I'm doing now to what I'm to, I was doing within, with the companies, with my corporate clients. What do you mean you can't link it? What does that mean? I'm making my website, uh, like remaking my website. And um, on, the, on, on the one hand, I'm helping corporate clients to 
also taking tiny steps to build a uh, people-driven culture. And then on the other side, I'm helping these entrepreneurs and leaders to actually get, in, to, to get what they want by one step at once. And I, I'm really looking for a sentence uh, to describe what I'm doing now. And I guess, Doc, I, can't, I cannot find the sentence because I do more than one thing. It's so funny. We can't do this for ourselves. It's what you do for <laughs> others, right? Yeah, that's true. And you, you told me, you said it very clearly. Like I'll, I'll, I'll read back to you basically what you said. It's not <clears throat> rocket science what I'm about to do. What I hear is, well, first of all, what I hear is you get stuck in, I work with these people over here and these people over here and what's the thing in the middle? So I'm looking for the golden thread right down the line, right down the center. Here's what I heard. My name's Sophie Sun. And when people come to me, they usually have a track record of success behind them or they've been acknowledged as high potential leaders. The trouble with being someone of high potential or someone with a track record of success is that each level of success that follows sets a higher bar. And my clients, despite all the success in the past, are lacking confidence, courage, clarity, and the freedom to make the decisions they need to get to the next level. I see you smiling right now. You, you might fr- turn that around. You say, people come to me um, for all sorts of reasons, but they leave with four results. They are more confident. They have more courage. They have more clarity and more freedom. Usually, if they're individual clients, they have the freedom to go after what they really, really want. Usually, if they're corporations, we've built a much more engaging company culture. But what that looks like for you, that depends. Get in touch. Mm. It resonates. Yeah. So if you're listening, that little sound that Sophie made sounded something like this. Hmm. That today was the sound of insight. And there we are. That's it. And I I love doing these one one insight episodes because when you get to an insight moment, when I'm working with someone like you, Sophie, you don't need to be told what to do next. You know what to do. You just saw the golden thread that you can't, we can't see it for ourselves. And, and now you're off and running. So thank you so much for trusting me. This was fun. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. For most of human history, it wasn't called coaching. It was called leadership. And it's what I love to do, to coach people, to lead people, and to mess with people's thinking. If you'd like more of this, or if you'd like to learn more about our community of extraordinary top performers, go to richlitvin.com forward slash one insight.